So in terms of the other big news that happened last night, I know <laughs> yeah. that you're very happy about Judge Kavanaugh. Yes. Um, and, and the Women's March folks put out a, a press <laughs> yeah. release, um, and perhaps, you know, they need a better fact checker, <laughs> because this is the press release. It says, in response to President Trump's nomination of XX to the Supreme Court of the United States, the Women's March is releasing the following statement, which goes on to, you know, basically say that this person is a horrible person uh, and that he's going to change the right. way that we see life here uh, uh, in America. I mean, pretty, pretty incredible, just blanket disapproval before they even knew who it was. Well, President Trump could nominate George Washington and they would all be up in arms. Uh, it seems to be that if you're running for president on the Democratic side in 2020 or thinking about it, you have to prove you're the most insane person when it comes to Trump nominees. It's sad to see my colleagues sink so low. This is a well-qualified nominee. He's lived an incredible life. He's one of the greatest conservative minds of his generation. He's every bit as qualified as Sotomayor and Kagan. Every president deserves a chance to pick nominees that are highly qualified. And Brett Kavanaugh is one of the smartest, uh, most qualified people any president could choose as a Republican. What they're saying is elections matter only when Democrats win. We're going to fight back in the Judiciary Committee. We're going to protect this man's good name. And he's going to get confirmed. And I predict Democrats will come on board because you can't go to these red states and justify a no vote. He's just too well qualified. What do you say to those who express concern 